Are you a big lover of your animals? Do you hug and kiss them and snuggle them? Or do they hug and kiss and snuggle you? Today we're gonna to talk about COVID-19 and protecting our animals, dogs, cats, poultry, livestock. I wanna get your thoughts and understanding on what we can do to protect them or if we even need to protect them. Donkey, are you worried about it? Whiskey. Do you need a mask? Do you need a mask? Are you worried about mommy getting you sick? Buttercup. Buttercup, are you worried about it? Are you practicing your social distancing? Girls? Girls. Are you social distancing? Maddie, are you socially distancing from people? What's your take on it? Cotton and candy, what's your take on it? Hi. Maddie, do you want to wear the mask? Do you need a mask? Marin? Good morning from the homestead. I wanted to touch on something today and I was really trying to do some research on it. Can our pets and our farm animals get COVID-19? As you see here, Huey is my lover boy. So what I did was I got on the CDC website and they said that there's no evidence that COVID-19 can be spread to pets. They were specific on dogs and cats. I have dogs, I don't have cats, but of course I've got farm animals. So what the CDC said was they are not at risk of getting it. Hi, Huey. Hi, baby. If you feel ill, that you shouldn't kiss, hug, snuggle, or love on any of your animals and possibly have somebody else that's not ill take care of them. So that's a mixed message to me. I personally am doing social distancing. I'm keeping my kids away. We're locked on the homestead, um, but I can't prevent this because he loves me and they are what I live for every single day is to take care of them. But another thing it said is just keep washing your hands for 20 seconds with warm water and antibacterial soap, cover your cough, don't share drinks. They said all kinds of things like that. So what do you think? Do you think our animals can possibly get it? It started in a wet market in China. I don't know if it came from animals and was combined and now it's gone to humans and it's transmittable now. I mean, they were talking about a difference between being contagious and actually being infected. They said you could be infected and not be contagious, but during the stages of being contagious is when you can possibly spread it. So it's mixed messages. I was just wondering what y'all are doing to protect your animals or if you're even worrying about it. Some other things about the CDC, it said to make sure that your animals are healthy, getting their vitamins, regular food, clean water, safe, healthy, clean environment. Hi, honey. Take them to the vet if they're ill or showing any signs of illness. I did read about a Pomeranian dog in China or Hong Kong, I wasn't sure exactly where it was, that did have a mild test positive for COVID-19. They, they thought that maybe just because their owner had it that they had some bacteria on them and it tested positive. They said that the dog had no ill signs. I love you. I love you. You're so sweet. Sweetest goat ever. Yeah, you're so sweet. You mommy baby. You mommy baby. Another thing that I've been thinking about is what's the availability of feed? 
Are we gonna worry about hay? I don't think so. Are we gonna worry about our chicken feed and our goat feed? Um, you know, the higher protein, the better stuff. What about vitamins? I get my vitamins in tubes and I get them on Amazon, but are they gonna be available? Are there gonna be a shipping issue? Is there gonna be a production issue? What are your thoughts? Are you stocking up on feed? Comment below and let me know what you think about the spread to animals. And if you're doing anything specific to make sure that they don't get infected or if you're not worried about it at all. I know I'm joking around with the mask, but it's no joke. I do have these for my family. My kids have asthma and reactive airway. So besides the social distancing and staying home for the next couple of weeks, I am a little prepared for asthma attacks and reactive airway attacks and things like that. But today I wanted to talk briefly about your animals. Let me know what you're doing. Thanks for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you like our content and I am back to watching the president make more announcements about our pandemic. Have a great day and stay safe.